Hi, my name is Melanie Kiss and welcome to my channel. So after my burnout, I couldn't bring myself to start working out again on a regular basis like I used to. I love the feeling of strength and feeling energized. I loved working at home, in the gym, outside. So what the heck? Why wasn't I able to get going again? So after digging a bit deeper, okay, not a bit deeper, but very deep after being coached in NLP, after coaching myself, once I learned the skills, I was able to figure out why. And it took me three years to figure it out. So the burning question that bugged me for so long, why? First of all, jumping back into my old routine brought up old feelings and transported me back into an environment that I did not want to live out again. So that was one thing I was aware of. So how was I supposed to start up again if rotten feelings inside of me kept rising up and every time I thought about it? So I knew not to dive back into the same environment if I wished to start working out again. Check, okay, I knew that. So what next? What did I want? Okay, I wanted energy, I want strength, but not overly trained like I used to and not feel guilty if I skipped a day or two. So as I worked on other parts of my life, I came to realize that I enjoyed the attention I had received after accomplishing my fitness self years ago. And with time, I knew that, att that attention came from the fact that I'm the oldest of five kids in my family and as a child, I probably received a lot of attention, but with every new sibling, I probably lost some of the attention with time. Was I aware of it at the time? No. Was it bad? No. We're all I'm a human. We're all humans. But I wanted to know why. I couldn't bring myself to feel aligned with my soul. So more coaching, more NLP schooling, more self-reflection, more time with myself, COVID hit, more in work, and then one day it hit me. <sighs> I was being coached one day, and I don't even remember what the question was, but it came to me. And when I was working out like a nut and receiving that attention and the praise and the high fives, high fives, I felt like I had finally found my place in life, in my family. No one else had that but me. My inner child was happy to say, hey, this is what I do and I'm good at it and my parents are proud of me. Move over. So now I'm telling you this and it may mean nothing to you and sound completely crazy and that's okay because it was my experience and my feelings. But I'm sharing this because sometimes we can go crazy not understanding why we can't bring ourselves to do certain things in life. And you may share your experience with me and it will make, it will sound total, total gibberish to me, but it will make total sense to you. And that's what counts, is that it makes sense for you. So after figuring out that piece of missing information, I no longer felt like I know, I don't feel like I need to take up that space anymore. I feel good with who I am and the direction that I'm going. My inner mm -hmm. child, lived its moment but my adult self is calm and happy and no longer seeking approval so since that day i've been able to slip into my running shoes and be at the gym or roll out my mat and practice yoga or hop on my bike and go for a ride and i do it with pleasure for me not someone else even though they never asked for it Pleasure and health and eating, good food and working out are all values that are important to me. But I also had to take the time to figure it all out. So my values are now aligned with my behaviors and I'm in a similar environment, but without my screaming inner child that is that was screaming subconsciously because I couldn't hear it at the time. So as an NLP coach today, I help people better understand themselves and those who seek to better understand their clients' unique needs so they can stay motivated with their fitness and wellness life. 
but I want you or your clients to unleash their inner child so they could be the adult with feeling of love and inner peace and pleasure and to continue living that healthy life they love to live and for themselves. So that being said, I'm here to guide all of those who have dedicated their lives in the fitness and wellness industry to help their clients live a healthy, fit life, but for life. So if you're anyone who wishes to find that motivation that you once had, and have it in you, that's residing in you, I invite you to click on the subscribe button. And I thank you for con contributing on building a stronger community today of healthy living physically, mentally, and spiritually. And on that note, be happy and be you.